In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom textures to Minecraft using custom model data. So when you want to add a custom texture to Minecraft, you basically got two options. You can either use an already existing resource pack and completely replace a texture. So if I would grab a resource pack and replace the diamond texture with a ruby texture, then all the diamonds in the game will look like a ruby. Though what you can also do is use custom model data. That way, all the diamonds in the game will still look like diamonds, but by time a command that looks something like this you will actually get a diamond that looks like a ruby so both of these are called diamonds they can both be used as a diamond but one of them has a very different texture in other words it's a custom model and today i'm going to show you how to add it to your minecraft so before we start do make sure to leave a like also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell we're trying to hit the 30k now which will be the next big milestone on the channel and you clicking the subscribe button would significantly help out so do make sure to smash it i will be thankful forever and then without any further ado let's dive right into this So I'm going to show you how to add a custom model to Minecraft using custom model data. Now before we're actually going to start, very important, make sure to watch this video very carefully. Don't just skip through the video and at the end comment that it doesn't work. In a second we will start creating a new resource pack where we will be adding our custom texture to. For that we will be doing some very specific things. One space too much or one typo can make it so that nothing works so do watch the video very carefully and if at the end something does not work for you make sure to go over all the steps once again because i assure you this method works and if it doesn't work you made a mistake somewhere along the lines which isn't strange at all because one slight typo can freak the whole thing up okay with that being said let's dive right into it so the first step will be getting a custom texture in my case i'm gonna use this ruby but you can use any custom texture you want make sure to give it a simple name as this will only make the rest of the process easier then we're actually gonna start creating a new resource pack now that might sound very intimidating but if you know how to do it, it's actually quite easy. So I'm just gonna create a new folder, and that folder will be called, in my case, Ruby Pack. Just like that. Now you want to open your Ruby Pack folder or whatever you called your folder. It really doesn't matter. And in there, you want to create a new folder that is called Assets. Press Enter beautiful now what you want to do is create a new text file new and then text document it doesn't really matter what you call it for now because we will be completely renaming it in a second so just call it whatever open it up and then go to the description of this video in the description you will see something that looks like this so where it says pack then pack format 12 description and then your name here this is what you want to copy to this text file now your name here you can replace it with whatever the name of your resource pack will be i'm gonna call it the ruby pack so once again you will be able to find this in the description of this video just below the subscribe button make sure to press it <laughs> after that simply save your file exit out and then we're gonna rename it we're gonna completely rename it so we actually don't want the .txt part here we want to completely rename it to pack.mcmeta so pack.mcmeta after that you will get a warning if you change a file name extension the file might become unusable are you sure you want to change it well yes i do and there you go it's done now for those wondering this file will actually make it so that minecraft recognizes this folder as a resource pack so it is very important Important you create it otherwise minecraft can't even read it then what you want to do is go inside of the assets folder and over here you want to once again create a new folder called minecraft just like that minecraft and then go inside of there then inside of the minecraft folder you want to create two more folders one of them will be called models and the other one will be called textures then you want to go into the models folder and over here surprise surprise you want to create another folder that is called item then we're going to exit out go back to the minecraft folder but this time instead of models we're going into the textures one and over here you also want to create a new folder called item now while we're inside of this folder so the path is assets minecraft 
textures and then item inside of this folder you want to drag your texture so in my case that will be the ruby ruby.png there we go like i said earlier make sure to give it a simple name that will make stuff a lot easier also make sure it is actually a png file otherwise it will not work so now that we got our texture in here we're gonna go back to the minecraft folder and this time instead of going to textures we're going into models then we're going into the item folder here as well and now now I'm going to make your life a lot easier. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to create two text files. One of them will be called diamond.json and one of them will be called ruby.json. So one of them will have the name of your custom texture and the other one will be having the name of the item or block you made the custom texture for. Now you will need to do some formatting inside of those files, but I'm not going to explain to you how that all works in this video. I'm going to show you a way easier method. So I will leave a link to this website in the description of this video it is called the model generator and it's very very useful so we want to create two files here ruby.json and diamonds.json now ruby.json is the easiest by far so let's start off with that one so what you want to do here is you want to click on presets and here you want to look for the micros item that you want to add a custom model to so in my case, I want to add a custom model for a diamond. So I'm going to simply look for a diamond. There it is. Item slash diamond. Click on there. Bam. After that, what you want to do is you want to go to layer zero here. Layer zero reference. And here it says Minecraft colon item slash diamond. Now this diamond text here, you want to replace with the name of your custom model. So in our case, it will be Ruby. And after doing that, you're done. This is your first JSON file. Now you could copy the text it says here, but to make it even easier, you just got a simple download button down here. So just click on download, wait for a bit, and there you go. Now drag the file we just downloaded into your item folder, which is inside of your models folder, and then you want to simply rename it to ruby.json. Now you want to go back to this website, the model generator. We're going to presets once again, and you once again want to look for diamonds or whatever block you want to add a custom model for. Then what you want to do is go down here to overrides and make sure to click on the plus next to it. So a simple click should do. There we go. And then over here, it will say predicate. Click on this small arrow. This will pop up a list. And here you want to choose for custom model data. So just click on there. Beautiful. And then here in model, you once again want to look for the item that you're making a custom model for. In my case, it is a diamond, just like that. And then once again, replace the diamond text with the name of your custom model, which in my case is Ruby. There we go. Now, very last step here next to custom model data, it has another plus icon click on add and then here you will need to give a custom model data number basically this can be whatever number you want make sure to remember it because you will need it in game to actually spawn this custom model so in my case i'm going for seven <laughs> we're going for seven all right we got it guys this is it so now that we've done this you simply want to click on download once again in the bottom right corner wait for a bit and there you go then drag the file inside of your item folder again and rename it to diamond.json and believe it or not we're done this is it we're gonna test it out so inside of your minecraft go to options after that resource packs and then you simply want to click on open pack folder open it up and then just drag the resource pack we just created inside just like that then after going back into minecraft you should see it appear ruby pack now it is red and it says made for an older version of minecraft jokes on you resource pack you're not it will work fine so just activate it click on yes and after that click on done and now we will just join my beautiful world now when we grab a diamond from the inventory you can see it still looks like a regular diamond so all normal diamonds will still look like this but with just a simple command we can now get a diamond that has that custom texture so by typing a slash a gif after that casasura or whatever player you want to receive the item and then we're gonna type minecraft colon diamonds after that one of these 
bracket symbols or whatever you call it. Then you want to type custom model data with the C, the M and the D in caps. Then colon and after that your custom model ID number. So I made that seven. Then you want to type one of those bracket thingies again. It should now change to a green color indicating that this is a correct command. And then when we press enter, you can see I got myself a ruby and it's night now. So there we go. I got myself a ruby. It is still called diamond, but the texture is a ruby. Now, just to show you that this is in fact still a diamond, I will still be able to craft a diamond sword out of it. So like you can see, by putting these two rubies together, Together, I will get a diamond sword. Now you can use this for a lot of things. And I'm sure if you're watching this full video, you got a use case for it. And now you know how to add it. So this will be the best method to add custom textures to your Minecraft. It can be really simple, especially using that website I linked down below. It is a piece of cake. You just need to know how to do it and how it works. Now, if it doesn't work for you, if the ruby doesn't show up in game, that only means that you did something wrong. I'm very sorry to say this, but you misconfigured something. Maybe you spelled the name of one of the folders wrong. Maybe you spelled the name of one of the JSON files wrong. Or maybe you made a small mistake inside of one of the JSON files. Whatever it may be, make sure to double check everything. Because like I said before, one small mistake, one letter difference can make it so that nothing will work. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do make sure to leave a like. Also press that subscribe button, click on the notification bell. You would really help me out and I would really, really appreciate it. And then I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.